This is lesson two for creating a spreadsheet for Year 9 Commerce, assessment task number one. In the first lesson you created uh, a basic spreadsheet with uh, some column headings in row two and you put in your first item which for the example was bread. Hopefully now you've created your own list of needs based on your shopping list and you have a list of items, brands, substitute brands in all the columns shown. I've given you an example of five items that I've placed into my list. These are all just examples. First thing that we need to do is to go down to the bottom of the spreadsheet where you can see some tabs. The tabs are labeled sheet 1, sheet 2 and sheet 3. Click back onto sheet 1 and you'll see the spreadsheet that you created. We need to name these different tabs so that we can create a tab or a sheet for each of the needs, wants and luxury items. So what I'd like you to do is to right, your, right click your mouse where it says sheet 1 and you'll get a menu. Click rename and change the name of that sheet to needs. For sheet 2 I'd like you to do the same and change the name of the sheet to wants. For sheet 3, I'd like you to change the name of the sheet to luxury. And then you'll see at the bottom of the tabs, you have an extra tab that you can insert. I'd like you to insert and change the name of sheet number 4. Just ignore the save as. It's asking you to save your document. Sheet 4 change the name to totals. You'll see that the totals, the luxury and the want sheet are all blank sheets. I'd like you to click back to the needs sheet. On this sheet we're now going to create a total for each of the price, substitute price and environmental price. So the first thing that we need to do is to write the title totals in column B and in the last free row below your list. In my case it's below row number 7. So I'm just going to write the name totals. Then I'm going to put my cursor into the cell below my prices. These are the prices for my main items. And I'm going to put the cursor in the row for totals but in the first available cell below those prices. And then I'm going to go and select then I'm going to go and select the auto sum key. You see this is the icon on your toolbar that looks like an M sideways. It's called auto sum. I'm going to click that and you'll see that it highlights everything above the cell that I've selected. I'm going to move my mouse over the little tick which is shown here and it will give me a total price. I'm going to do the same thing for substitute price and also for environmental price. so that these stand out I'm going to highlight by clicking on that particular row and I'm going to make that bold so that those totals stand out I'm going to make sure I save my work and then we'll continue in the next lesson